making his way over to Cortez. Um, I must have missed him though. Said he'd be coming this way. I've been waiting by the gate for a bit, but still haven't had a sign of him for like the past 10 minutes, so I'm just going to head back. No, wait, that's the guy you put on one and only. Correct, yeah. Yeah, I was letting you know he was over here. I already sent him out on a different boat. Did you? I, he called me too. I am like, while I saw you with that group, are you sure it was the same guy? I'm um, pretty sure. Um, he was from New Jersey? No, he's one of our members. Like, not a reciprocal. I killed in. He was on the dock, so I'm going to figure it out. VHF2 check. Three two five, this is three two six. Com check over. Review the same out.
Loaded fuel barge from the Avenue Seven. Traffic against these. Uh, we're actually we're gonna do a tow, bro, because we we topped it off, but there might be air in the system. But uh, this bucket, no bueno. So we're gonna hook up for a long tow.
Lighter rain, lighter rain. This is Assault Carrier 4, vicinity of North Island. Hailing on channel 13, over. Doing in the helm, so I'll be able to fare with you. Copy. Lighter rain, lighter rain. This is Assault Carrier 4, hailing you on channel 13. Over. Whitehall motor driven, motor driven vessel in the vicinity of Harbor Island, headed inbound in the San Diego Channel. This is Assault Carrier 4, outbound in the San Diego Channel. Hailing you on Channel 13. Over. BHF 1 check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. HF2 check, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'm going to go ahead and go up on 2 as well, so we should be able to make good speed. San Diego, Control 1, this is the USNS Richard E. Bird calling to confirm pilot Control 1, this is Richard E. Bird. Uh, copy, Tugs 2 and 10, pilot 2. 
Uh, confirm uh, pilot will be at Palace Point. Palace Point, we're not going past the bridge, over. USNS Richard D. Bird, USNS Richard D. Bird, Stand Control 1, that is an A firm. Go on, copy all. This is Richard D. Bird, copy, out. Good to go for today. Uh, if you'll just let him know the fuel levels, whatever he uses. Cool, thanks. Tenure Control 1, Tenure Control 1, this is Richard E. Bird, Channel 1, 2, over. Control 1. Yes, sir, uh, request, uh, which side pilot ladder, over. Radio check. Good SNS, Richard E. Bird, good SNS, Richard E. Bird, the Tenure Control 1, the pilot should be at boarding on port side 2. Bird, copy all. Up. Yeah, you're good. Can you control one, South Carrier four, in the city of Louis two zero, outbound for sea, over. Make sure I hung on the outside. South Carrier, South Carrier, the standard control one, standard control one, copy all. I'm going to one, you guys are good to go. Copy, they're closing up the barrier right now.
granted. I'll go on three one oncoming. I'll go on three one, it's oncoming. We're in zone, you guys are good to swap. Over, over. Oh. 
more one two close to its natural lines as you can get. Oh. All right, everybody's doing great, but just to keep it challenging, let's get to the two boat wings when we can, so that it creates an environment where everybody's playing their throttle. For You know, just like a boat and like a car, whenever we fall, the stern is going to pull their direction. So you're going to want to make sure that you're never right next to anything like I'm doing. starboard of it. So, yeah, do we... Describe a good docking. We always say which side of our boat is going to be on the dock. So what I'd like you guys to do one by one is to themselves starboard to the dock and then wrapped up as necessary right in front of us. Morning, sir. Uh, we are headed outbound and intend to run the range today. Hi. The side sign so-called starboard side two.
U.S. Dallas Point. Go down to 05. file, doesn't matter what order, single file. I'll do that. They may know where it is if it's, uh, but if it's on the beach, let me know. I'm standing by. D Galaxy Control, this is South Carrier 4. Uh, coil values are as follows FI, QI, negative, 3, 1. FP, QP, 0. A coil, positive, 2, 0. M coil, positive, 7, 6. Magnetic heading, Tomorrow we'll 1, go 6, on 8. Average draft, 2, 8. Feet. I'll copy. Just for Over. Fun. This is Salt Carrier 4. Copy. Okay, great. In a moment, I'm going to uh, the wind and take each boat to go a boat length beyond me to my port and also go head to wind and stop and then deploy your buoy. So four buoys. going to go ahead and drift to a stop here. I don't have a buoy, so the first boat kind of gets the easiest assignment. They're just trying to put their buoy down in line with me. Um, but the rest of the buoy placers are trying to get all of those buoys to end up in a straight line. Position, head to wind, once we're down. One six three two. This is Assault Carrier Four hailing you on channel seven one. Over. Up with four boats, five boats including me. Head to wind. Four buoys out. Drop the buoy for minimum surprises. You should first. 
This is Salt Carrier 4, up through the range. Out until you Roger, out, the standing by channel 1316. Rather than just throwing a coil, which is hard to tell what's going to happen. Everybody try to get head to winds right below their buoy, please. Trying to hang out head to winds. It's not easy. playing with it, and then we're going to pick up. All right, roger that. We'll loosen up. I'm going to keep one on this channel here. If I don't get it, you hang tight. I'll get back to the cell comms. If you're stay head to wind, don't worry too much about it. That was almost even kind of the point. It's a good skill, but it also turns out that staying head to wind is the hardest thing to do. And so it's not going to even be what we do that often. We're more often going to go stern to the wind when we're trying to stop. And we'll illustrate that later. But let's everybody uh, pick up your buoy 